Okay, well, welcome back to Cat Dreams Yarn. My name is Catherine, and sometimes I go by cat, and sometimes I dream about yarn. And I have a dream of opening a mystery bag of yarn or two. In fact, a Noro mystery bag. So, would you like to join me? I'm really excited. Let's get into it. Just gonna open this. I have a small order from uh, Little Knits in Seattle, Washington. I just ran out of uh, some wool that I need to finish the blanket that I started, and I should be done with it in no time at all. It was a really easy blanket to work up. And I'm crocheting it. And it consists of double crochet and single crochet with bobbles. Got to put some bobbles in there. Oops. So we'll make this unboxing nice and quick. I am just getting off of work and I'm tired. It's Tuesday in the evening and Tuesdays are my Mondays basically <laughs> the way that we operate I'm in dentistry I'm in a dental field so um, and I've been in the dental field for 10 years so I'm a, I'm a total dental nerd I enjoy every bit of it Okay, so in my order, I got some needles, some circular needle needings by Luke. I think it's Luke. I know everybody pronounces like, but I think it's Luke. Anyway, I don't know the correct <laughs> pronunciation, but. Um, it's a driftwood fixed circular needle. You ask four or three and a half millimeters. Length is a 60 inch or 1500 millimeter millimeters made in Nepal. I think these are really beautiful. I'm excited to get to put them into use. So. Yes, I, I am perfecting my crochet and I am going to start perfecting my knitting. So I'm really excited about that. Alright, so here's my, my Little Knits packing slip. And they wrote me a nice little note. It says, Catherine, enjoy your yarn. And thank you, Deb. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to start with the yarn that I need to finish my blanket, which you all probably have already seen if you saw my other little knit unboxing. Sorry. So, this is the Noro, I think it's called Lighthouse. Um, it's a chunky roving wool. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'll show a clip of my, my blanket that I'm going to finish. So you all can see it. With this order, I got some free yarn. And I had a few different choices of yarns to choose from. This one is called Argentina Color by... Let's see if I can pronounce this. Schockenmeyer. I got five balls of this and this here yarn says that it should be hand washed, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, do not iron, dry clean and use certain solvents only. It is made in China for Coats GmbH Germany. 
and this is 80% polyacrylic and 20% nylon. This is really cool looking actually. It's got pom-poms on it and different strands and the strands change colors. There's blue, green, orange, red, purple. I mean brown. No, I actually don't see any purple. But so I got five five balls of this and it recommends a five point five and a half millimeter or nine uh, US needle or crochet hook and this is considered a five bulky. Okay. Next up I have Arucania Hosco Chunky. Um, hand painted super wash extra front extra fine merino wool. So this one has the purple, the orange, the brown, and this one says, as there are no dye lots, we recommend buying enough yarn at one time to complete each individual project. Knit with two hanks in assorted rows, two to four. This will ensure an overall blended effect. As it's a five bulky yarn, and there is, uh, this is a hundred gram hank with 127 yards. In it. This is a hundred percent wool, lana wool. It has suggested crochet gauge and hooks, eight to eleven stitches and four inches over single crochet. On US, ten and a half to um, thirteen hooks. A uh, Hosco Chunky from Ara, Ara Kenya. Got five of these. And they're nice. They're nice. I have a plan for these, and I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay. Oh my, didn't realize I bought so many of these. Ah, I guess I did get these for it. <laughs> these are so pretty. I don't know, you either love Nora or hate it. That's what I've heard. That you have to either be a lover of this type of wool or a hater. Now this this is much, much softer than the lighthouse that I had showed you before. Wow, this must be a different composition than just wool. Aha! It's cotton, 40% cotton, 30% silk, 15% wool, and 15% polyamide. That's why it's so soft. Oh goodness, I just want to make something out of you. And I will. I got 10 skeins of this. This is a uh, this is recommending a 15 or an 8 millimeter needle. And that's all I get out of the Japanese tag. guys I had planned it was so hard to to look online for colors that kind of went together yarn that went together this was um, I think it was $17 for five Hanks 17 something See if it says here. Ah, 
$19.99 for five. $20 for five of these. I think that's, a, I, in my opinion, that's a steal of a deal. Because these are, to me, these are beautiful. Uh, I know it's not for everybody, but even their Nora wool, just 100% wool, I enjoy picking the sticks out of the wool. So I'm like on that side of it. I love all that. So I got 10 of these, okay? And I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, for the Aracunia, this this one here that I showed you before, um, this, this yarn was... $23.99. Extra fine merino. I wonder if that's a good deal or not. Anyway, see how tight, tightly spun this is. I am backtracking a little bit. Um... My Lighthouse yarn, the 100% wool, I got five skeins for $26.99. Okay, everyone. Looks like it's time for my mystery bags of Noro yarn. So I got my <clears throat> mixed bag sale of Noro Katori mixed bag skeins. So I got, so what it ha ended up happening is I get four skeins of, four skeins of two colors and two of another. Anyways, let's, let's look at it. <laughs> is exciting to me everybody so here we are this is this this here yarn is called the Noro Katori it is 75% wool 10% cotton 8% viscose and 7% silk it's recommending a six to eight um, for uh, needles. And it is, it, it is a four weight medium is what they're calling it. And It's just got that classic look of Noro, super twisted, lots of beautiful colors in every strand. It's like every time you pull up a loop, it's an it's a surprise. It's fun. It's exciting to me. I, it's, I enjoy so much about working with the Noro yarns. It's like every loop I pop up, it's it's just like what color am I going to pop up now, and what's going to be in it? I mean, I have we have these beautiful peaches and pinks and salmon to purple and red and mint uh, or like seafoam blue or green and and sky blue and um this one this this just this one strand has so many cool colors in it okay so in this mystery bag looks like i got two of those colors this is color 16, is what it's called, color 16. And then I got color 9. Oh, oh thank goodness. I'm 
confused. Anyway, this is col color 9. And this color here has, looks like grays and browns and red and burgundy and cream. Very pretty natural looking. I cannot wait to make stuff out of this, you guys. So happy. Thank you, Little Knit. It's not that you, I mean, I'm just, I'm thankful they had these mystery bags. So cool. Lot 15. This is, I mean, I mean, color 9. Color 9. Color 9. So I have four of that natural look. And then it looks like I, and then two of the, two of these pinky ones. And then this, this colorway is called color 15. Oh my. This is like a beautiful rainbowy. I, I guess that's what I love about Norion. It says like every single ball is like a rainbow, some type of hue or shade or color. It's got sagey greens, a bright orange, bright green, brown, sand, like a sandy color, blue, and I got four of those. Who else would be excited to get these? Like, I wonder how many people out there just love Nor yarn. You have to get over to Little Knits and get yourself a mystery bag of these 10 ball mystery bags. It's, it's a good deal. It's a good deal. Okay. So that was just one bag and I got one more bag here. Again, gorgeous. This is color six. Same uh, ingredients, same uh, fibers. It's 75 wool, 10% cotton, 8% viscose, 7% silk. I'm so excited. Got peppermint tea. Um, oh, I wish that you all could see this. It's, it's just gorgeous. This is the two that they gave me. They're super bright and cheerful, these two here. Okay, and this next four is all the same um, color 15, which I had in the other bag, which is this really neat rainbow. I think it looks rainbow in my opinion. But, so I got four more, more of that. Look at that awesome blue puffing out. I'm happy. And then four more of the color nine, which is the more neutral and natural grays and browns and um, got some burgundy maroon -y colors in there too. So that's it. That's, I mean, that's not it. Like that's it, but that's, that's my unboxing for today that takes me to the to the bottom of the barrel and I'm super pleased super duper pleased the only thing I wish that I had had some self-control on is I think this uh Rockinia Rockinia there's nothing wrong with this yarn this is a I mean it is a super silky beautiful merino uh, fine merino 
wool and I love the spin and the twist on this yarn um they're really not my colors although I picked it because I thought it was gonna go well with with this but it was just too hard to tell online and um, I will put this to good use I'm sure um, uh, or maybe it'll end up in a in a giveaway one day when I have more subscribers <laughs> um, I just there's just you know I'm not a super big fan of that orange color uh, don't know don't know what to say about that I make mistakes sometimes has nothing to do with the yarn. The yarn is beautiful and I'm very thankful for it. I'm very, very thankful for this yarn. Um, but we shall see. We shall see. I cannot wait till these get going in, in some, some projects. Um, but this, this here yarn, I got 10 of these. This is going to be a blanket. And it's going to be mixed with another black wool that I have. And so I'm gonna do um gonna do some kind of stripe work or um yeah, I'm I'm liking the, the Noro stripes with solid stripes. Um anyway, let me show you my blanket. Which, if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen it already. Almost finished. And if you do care to follow me on Instagram, I'd love to see you on there. It's just at Cat Dreams Yarn. You can find me there. So I'm making some posts and things. Uh, just projects that I'm doing and it's just a neat community and make friends on there but um, here you can see I have I'll just hold it up for a sec whoops it's backwards gotta see some bobbles so this is the the colorful stripes this is the Nora lighthouse 100% wool And then the beautiful yellow, uh, golden yellow stripes that you see is Cascade Farms Salar. It is 50% alpaca, 45% acrylic, and 5% wool. And let me tell you, this is, this, this is the, my, this is number one in my list right now on my, like, one, my top five favorite yarns that I have right now. This is number one. You're number one. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I hope that you have a wonderful evening or morning or afternoon or wherever it is, wherever you are. And um, I hope to see you in the next video. And I do have another unboxing coming up from Ice Yarns. The box is at mom's house waiting for me. I had it delivered there instead of at mine because I, I might have a little yarn guilt sneaking in too many, too many yarn deliveries. So, anyways, I'm gonna finish my tea and get ready, um, for bed and and get ready for my day tomorrow. So I hope you all are blessed wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.